my people. What is good? It is your boy Scorpio, and I missed you guys. I really, really, really did. But we are back with another so long to my brand new pattern, my Nomi 2071. No lie, I know I say this a lot. I love all my designs, but outside of that bomber jacket, that initial bomber jacket that I hit y'all with, like I feel like I'm proudest of this one. Only because it's a change of pace, right? Like I've been giving y'all a lot of street aesthetics, kind of giving you a like, little change on what is really out there in the pattern world. But I really wanted to be like semi-formal, but still keep it a little, little in my aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? So I created this crossover vest, this pattern that I've had. It's a, it's a design that I've had for years, years. Um, one of my when my good brother, my little brother got married, this is one of the one of the patterns, one of the designs that I made for his uh, for his uh, wedding suit. So it's special to me. I'm just happy to be able to bring it to the world. The execution was outstanding, and um, it's just it's a it's a beautiful pattern. I know a lot of people have commented on it. I know y'all are. I, I know y'all love it. I cannot wait to see the patterns, the variety, the various ways that y'all hack this. But just want to say from the bottom of my heart, absolutely so thankful to be here. Thank you all who's going to buy the pattern, who's going to make the pattern. Make sure y'all tag me and let's get this thing going, man. I appreciate you. Don't forget, know me, 2071. Oh, and especially, what you're going to notice especially about this pattern is we upped our game. We in that big boy range now. So if you want the 50s, the 60s, hey, the sky's the limit. Hit me in my DMs. Sins of many on IG. Let's go. Peace. And here we go. It's your boy, Know Me 2071, the crossover vest designed by yours truly. It's going to have a matching short set with it, but we're going to be making pants in this so long video, okay? Now, let's go. First piece is going to be the front piece. You're going to be cutting two of these, okay? You see the crossover effect? You're gonna be using these front pieces that's gonna provide stability and it's gonna have welt pockets. Here you go, you got that crossover effect one's gonna go under and over. This is the welt pocket that you're gonna be doing. This is going to be the pocket facing. Here's the pockets that you're gonna be using. You're gonna cut two of these. Five is the back piece, cut one, cut on the fold, of course. Six is going to be for the collar. You are going to cut four of these, okay? Four of these with interfacing if you need it. Seven is the elastic guide. Eight is going to be the front for the shorts, but again, we're making pants, all right? Want to make sure we transfer all markings. Nine is the pocket facing. Ten is going to be the pocket interfacing. Eleven is going to be the side pocket bag or pocket as you call it. Twelve is going to be the fly facing. Thirteen is the underlap. 14 is going to be the back pieces, okay? Now, again, I'm not going to do a welt pockets on the back. 15 is going to be the casing for the waist, as you call it. 16 is going to be for the carrier. 17 and 18 are going to be for the left and right pieces, respectively, because, again, we're, we, want, we, still want the carrier, we still want the casing to be a good waist. Oh, sorry, 19 is the waist. 15 was a side panel, all right? And 20, of course, the elastic guide, all right? So now with the front, we transfer the markings. This is going to be for the pleat, add durability to the vest, and then you're going to go ahead and stitch out this pocket box for this welt pocket that we're going to fold over. All right. Go ahead and give it a quarter inch stitch line right there. Now, once you have the box, you go ahead and cut it with the triangles. We all know what to do with this. It's the age old. All right. Now, once we get the welt, the welt piece down, you want to add it to the pocket box. I do it to the lower half, but I usually go a little bit lower to make sure that that inch really stays in the box and this is what you should come out with nice sturdy welt pocket now again i'm not doing a lining on mine so i'm actually going to close this all right just lining just doesn't do well with me all right now this is the elastic guide for the back all right this is going to add some stretch to the back piece you're going to cut out your elastic you want to make sure that you're going to sew the ends down within that box okay once you've done that just like we do with all tops we're going to add Add the back and the front at the shoulders. That's exactly what we're going to do here. And then we're going to stay stitch that collar. Okay. All right. So these are the collars. You want to go ahead and stitch two pieces together and then stitch the next two pieces together. Then you're going to combine them right sides facing and you're going to stitch along the curve. All right. Now, once you finish that, you want to go ahead and clip along that curve that you just stitched. All right. We want to make sure that it falls and it falls evenly and flat. Okay. And to make sure of that, we're going to turn it 
right side out, and then we're going to understitch. All right, we're going to understitch. Make sure the side that you understitch catches um, the seam allowance. All right, I'm just going ahead and pressing it, making sure that it stays down. All right, you should see this. Go ahead and attach it to your back and front pieces together. And then once you stitch it down, you should see, you see how this falls beautifully. Now I know you're looking at the surging. Remember, I'm not doing a lining. So I'm surging all raw edges, making sure those are clean. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a single fold or a double fold to finish it off. Just like you see right here. And then that's it guys. So once you do that, it is pretty much done. Now again, you can use the lining if you want to. I just chose not to because I get a little hot, all right, being a bigger guy, all right? But this is a very easy piece, takes you a couple hours, and you can do it in so many variety of fabrics, all right? Let's go on to the bottoms. And again, we're doing pants, all right? Oh, wait, first of all, you can't forget the buttons, all right? Wanna make sure you add the buttons. I'm adding two buttons just in case, because again, we all fluctuate in weight, weight and the last thing you wanna do is not be able to fit a, a garment that you made, all right? So I just made two, all right? now. Now we have the pocket facing. We're gonna add the pocket interfacing to the pocket facing. Go ahead and iron that down, make sure that stays intact because we want that nice and sturdy. We're gonna add that to our bottom front piece, okay? Right sides together, go ahead and stitch that down. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna flip that right side out. We're gonna clip the curve and then we're gonna understitch just like we did with the top. All right, go ahead and understitch right there and then you can press down if you want to. I'm using a velvet, so I'm not doing too much, right? So then I use the side pocket, put that over the pocket facing, sides lining up. I went ahead and surged that, and then I based at the, at the sides and at the top, okay? The once I did that, I put both front pieces together, right sides facing. Now again, as you see here, I have a seven inch zipper. I think the pattern calls for more of a five inch because that zipper fly facing is kind of short. I just made mine seven and then we're gonna stitch down from that dot all the way down to the bottom on both pieces, leaving the top half open just like this, all right? So once you're able to do that on the right side, you're gonna fold that in a quarter inch. You can either base stitch that down, glue it down or iron it down like I'm about to. All right, now once you do that, the next stage is we're going to be getting our zipper is make sure it's facing up towards you, okay? We're gonna be lining that up with our right side and we're gonna be using our zipper foot, sponsored by Bernina, <laughs> to make sure we base that down, okay? Then we're gonna get our underlap and again, you can either surge it like I do or you can base stitch it however you want to. This is how it looks when I surged it. You're gonna put raw edges together, the surged end, right on top of that zipper on the right side and you're going to base through all all layers base through all layers okay now once you get that you're going to get your fly facing i surged it just to make sure the finishings are good i line that with the raw edge on the left side i'm going to stitch that down and then guess what i'm going to flip it right side out and then i'm going to understitch like you see here next thing starting to come together, I'm going to fold that over the zipper onto my right side, and I'm gonna base this down just so it stays good because what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna move the underlap out the way. We don't want that catching no strays. That's the worst thing for a guy. <laughs> and then we wanna make sure that the fly facing and the open free edge of the zipper, we wanna make sure those two are together and we're going to base stitch those down. We wanna make sure that the, the left front piece is free, right? It's just the fly facing and the zipper. Go ahead and base those down. Then from there, you're gonna turn it over and then you're going to go ahead and stitch that line guide for the fly facing, all right? I was able to do it from the front. From the back, as you can see, I just did regular pockets. Once I did that, I added the front piece on top of the back piece, front, right sides facing, and then I attached them at the inner leg seams, okay? From here, it's smooth sailing. We're going to attach the side panel to the back pieces. I kind of went out of instruction because it just felt right to me to do it this way. So once you do that, you're gonna turn that out, press the seams towards the inside of the pant, then you're gonna add the side seam of the front piece right on top, and then you're gonna go ahead and stitch that down. Make all necessary adjustments that you need. I went ahead and attached the carrier pieces here according to the notches, and now I'm getting ready for the casing. I'm gonna add both pieces together. Some people cut on the fold. I'm just gonna add those just for security pieces. Now 17 and 18, small side is gonna go to the left. 
the big piece is going to go to the right. You go ahead and attach that, and then you attach it to the top half of the front pieces. This is what it's going to look like. Once you fold over that casing, you're going to make sure those match, right? You see this little part that hangs over. You're going to stitch that all the way through because once you do that, you're going to flip it inside out. That's going to create that nice little box feel at the top of your pants right here. Go ahead and clip that extra trim off. Turn it inside out. Get your little poker. Make sure it's nice and taut. And then once you do that, you should be able to fold over your casing and the hem, the folded part, the quarter inch part should fall right above the hemline. See that perfectly. Sorry, the stitch line. Then you're just going to double down with a top stitch. And that's what I did at a bam. You're just going to leave it a bit open. You're going to leave a little opening at both ends for the elastic guy because, of course, we got to have elastic. All right. Using my fancy little elastic puller thingamabobber thing through. <laughs> Going to go ahead and push it through, push, pull. At the very end, you want to catch that excess elastic right at the tip. And you want to go ahead and stitch that, stitch that down on top, on top of the same line as 17 and 18. And this is where you're going to, this is the finished product. Finish it off by finishing the carriers. And you got yourself a nice little waistline. Last but not least, of course, we're going to add the button. Button on the right side, buttonhole on the left. Make sure everything lines up, zip it up, button through the buttonhole. And voila, we are done. Easy, peace, we out. What you got for me? I'm happy to see what you got next. Let's get it. Know me, 2071.